Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is FTB Stoneblock 3. Today, we're going to be messing around with culling mobs. So this little box here, the Disillusion Chamber, is going to prove a little bit difficult because one of the items I'm going to need, I believe, is going to be pink slime. And that's to make advanced machine frames. Uh, among the other things can be used for that, but I believe I'm going to need it and I need to actually spawn mobs as well as slaughter mobs to get it. Because when you look it up, a machine output from a mob slaughter factory, let's put that on the list, is pink slime. And the recipe for that isn't that bad. Uh, just a pity machine frame and a gold gear. So we should be able to make those really simply. There we are, one mob slaughter factory, which don't know what area it affects. Uh, actually, let's turn this around, have it facing this way, and show working area. Well, that's simple enough. It just kills things in this one box area. If my mob farm over there had been working, that would have been something I could have actually used very easily. I just set that in place, and as mobs come down, they, they die. But I don't. I do see that there's an entity spawner that can be used. I might go that route if things don't turn out the way that I'm hoping that they do. But for now, uh, let's see what I can come up with. I think that the GM chicken feed cursed can be used to make uh, a chicken poop out a rotten egg, which then causes a 5x5 five five area of dreadful dirt used on grass, dirt, mycelium, or farmland, which then I think that just automatically creates mobs to uh, get spawned in and then you, you know they can get killed which I'm thinking I might surround that with tinted glass or something and then we could use that by a mob slaughter factory to get pink slime yeah meat and pink slime see I'm not entirely certain if this is the right tool because there's a mob crusher as well and I'm not entirely certain what the difference is between the mob crusher and a mob slaughter factory I guess one of them produces slime at the very least. I also noticed there's a mob duplicator, which sadly uses an advanced machine frame, which then also requires pink slime. So that's kind of a uh, not going to work. And now that I'm looking at it, the mob crusher also requires that too. It might be that the mob slaughter factory only works for passive entities like cows or something like that, which then maybe a golden egg would be good, and you could use that to spawn in regular passive mobs but i don't know if that's like active or if it's something else uh we would need to feed nutritious chicken feed to a chicken which that stuff requires more xp in a bucket plus some crops i suppose i could try it and see if it just starts spawning some passive mobs if not then there are other methods i could use so how do i get some of this essence experience whatever fluid xp that i need i think i'm going to start trying with a XP drain singularity tank um, and I think I can use some of my own XP for that let's try making one of those and then I think if I put this down I can potentially just stand on this uh, in fact I might put this in this corner for the moment just so I don't worry about it too bad <laughs> it's a little bit out of the way and I can remove this so we can see if it actually works I already see it happening it's taking my XP levels very slowly, but it's taking them. So let me grab a bucket while it does that. All right, and how much is in there? Fluid XP, seven buckets worth. Okay, that seems to be working quite well. All right, nice. So let me just get a few buckets of that. In fact, I will stand on here a little bit longer and get another one. Then we've got several buckets of XP that I can use. Okay, this, this is so far so good. So now... I can craft that nutritious chicken feed, and I will need a chicken. Let's go into this other room here. I should have some regular old chicken eggs. Yep. Good good for me, and I'll just grab a whole bunch of these and start spawning some, maybe. I wonder, can I use this on you? No, I can't. Okay, well, I can always just feed you seeds. And there we have a grown chicken. Take a little nutritious chicken feed and... Oh my goodness. Okay, well that... Happy birthday? Um, anyway, let's continue on. I got the golden egg. 5x5 five five area of delightful dirt. Let's see if it works over here. I might just make a small area of stone that's missing. 
There we go. Uh, delightful dirt. Uh, we're used on grass, dirt, mycelium, or farmland. So, actually, is this five? Yeah, it's five by five. Pow. Okay. Pass. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that works just fine. I need to. I need to get some fencing. Okay, the, the animals are starting to get everywhere here, and it's kind of driving me a little bit nuts. Okay, there we go. Uh, now the rest of you need to just stop. Stop spawning in this area. And no, get out of there. You're messing up the water wheels. Oh my gosh. Um, did I get them all? No, there's a cow still running around. There we go. Okay, everything's in here. Oh, I don't know if they, those guys can jump out of this. Oh man, this thing could be crazy. Get off of that. Stop chewing on the power cables. Okay, we've got to start. <laughs> and these things, this this is amazing. Okay, I did not anticipate that delightful dirt would be quite that, um, uh, well, growing for critters. Um, so now the mob slaughter factory. Let let's put this in place here, and maybe, um, actually, with how it aimed upwards, I wonder if I could put it like, nope. Like instead of clicking on the fence like that. And then, yeah, that, that works. I think it, like, clears in an area up above. So let me just get some power on this. No, you little so-and-so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's got power, and I don't know if it's doing anything. Let's show the working area. That's the working area. Come here, pig. Let me get something to lure the animals over. Carrot. And the pig just got devoured and turned into pink slime. Perfect. Okay, so I just need to expand the working area on this thing so that it uh, constantly is killing everything. Yeah, yeah, that's, I think that's going to be important. So let's look at the add-ons for this. We've got range. That, that might be what I'm looking for. Uh, I was looking for an area, but I think range is probably what I want. Extra range plus four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let's just try making a range plus one for now. Oh shoot, I need the dissolution chamber with latex in it. I wasn't expecting that. So what I could do is a little diversionary tactic here where I kind of fix a few things so that uh, on a, when I don't want to use this, I can just have it go over here. Now when I click on this, it should be filling, yep, it's getting latex in there, but it is still going to need some power. Again, not a problem. I've got plenty of these things and I can make them simple enough. And I just need some redstone glass and so on. But what is it for a tier two? Does it just straight up make a tier two? It does. Three, four, five. It says plus four, plus five. So let's try making a plus four, which is going to be two glass, redstone, and some iron nuggets. All right, so if I put these in here, I don't know if it needs to be in a specific order, but I'm going to try and put them in the way that they look like. Now we just need a whole bunch more latex, which I remember how to do this. It's just a little bit of a few clicks on each one just to get it going a little bit. Can I get it to go even faster? Yes. Yes, I can. And this one here? There. How's it looking now? Oh, it's full. Okay, well then in that case, I think I can uh, probably have it go to both. There, okay. <laughs> now I don't need to worry about it quite so much, and it'll work with both of these, hopefully, to fill them up. And I've got an add-on range tier four. Quest completed. And if I put this in here, the affected area is a little larger than I had anticipated. Maybe I make a smaller range add-on. Let's try the tier two, a couple glass, redstone, and blue, or at least lapis. It probably isn't blue per se, but oops, that's too many, and redstone. And then that makes it here, and we've got a range tier two. So now when I put this in here, oh, that's perfect. That fills this space exactly as I was hoping it would. Excellent. Um, are there any critters that have gotten out? It doesn't look like it. None of them flew over. So I think that that is working just fine. Look at this pink slime and liquid meat. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. So let's look into voiding trash cans. Uh, I think one fluid void trash can is probably a good idea. And an item trash can? No, I don't think so. But I, I think I can put 
a filter on this as well. Um, also, I might want to put this power on the underside because it's going to just interfere with me piping things in and out of this. So let's put a fluid trash can down here. I don't think that I want the liquid meat uh, in this case. So I could Let's see if I can just drag things from here into there, in, into here. Ah, whitelist, liquid meat. And then when I have the fluid pipe coming out and I put the pipe wrench on here, it then should, yep, there we go. It's voiding the liquid meat, which I might need in the future, but for now, I'm just after the pink slime, which is great. And then I could have this fill a uh, tank first and then also empty it into this. Hmm, maybe I do that. Maybe I have both of these being filled into a tank and then I have it voided afterwards. That's probably the better choice. So let's start with the fluid trash can. I can drag the liquid meat and that sulfur, sulfur, where's the pink slime? Pink slime, there we go. Bucket of pink slime and liquid meat can both be on here for a white list. And I just need some large liquid storage. All right, now I have two liquid storage units uh, of the singularity tanks, which will likely end up being used in one way or another. There we go like so, and then I have it come over here, and then I have it go down there. So it'll come to these first. Let's try breaking this for the moment, doing this and see what happens. They went into both. Here's something crazy I can do temporarily just to get this so that it <laughs> takes the stuff out of one, puts it in the other. There we go. Now we've got the, the right stuff. Uh, can I just there we go. Got it. Now I can put this back down and this down and this down. And that still has, yep, the filter of just those. And I just need to have this export. There we go. And we've got 6.74, 6.75 of the pink slime. I'm just waiting to see if anything else is going to pop up here. 965 of that. Oh, something just got eaten. Yep, there we go. It is currently dumping into these, and then when those are full, it'll dump down there. And this also means that I could take something like an ender tank and pop it on top of one of these things and try uh, exporting these out in another spot. So that went well. We're getting the pink slime we need. We've got the plastic in the previous episode. Mob Slaughter Factory I think is working just fine. So I realized something. This uh, dissolution chamber is currently using latex. Whoopsie. I will just have to make another one just for the pink slime. Yep, I don't feel bad about that at all. So again, to go back to the original recipe we're looking for, the stasis chamber requires an advanced machine frame, which requires pink slime. But before that, we need a simple machine frame. Oh, which does require latex. Okay, so I can still use this one and not need to worry about it. So let me grab a bunch of plastic to start with, and then we can try and do, what is it, the simple machine frame? Oh, I can't just click it in there. All right, well, let's put a bunch in here. Actually, can I put more? No, only one at a time. Okay, let's turn this off for a moment so I can put the uh, the ghost of these items in here. All right, nether brick, iron, then gold gears and pity machine frame. Now, if I lock this, it should keep a ghost of those items in there. Uh, redstone mode run on pulse, ignored. So if I turn that run with no redstone signal, run with redstone signal. All right, that would have turned it off. My bad. All right. Oh, oh, that's a problem. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need to get that fixed. I need to have this uh, capped off, apparently. There. One a-cha-cha -cha cage set and ready to uh, slaughter anything that comes through. <laughs> so if I do this and then turn this on, it, it should be extracting the pink slime. Oh, it is. And it went into this. 
So let's turn that off for the time being because I found out when I drained this uh, tank completely, it started filling up with uh, liquid meat, which is not preferable. Then I, I had to like have it just flow back out again. So I'll just have it export at the moment. But this is filled and should be good. It just needs a bit of power, which I have some, and that should start this processing once I've got it turned on. There we go. Let's lock this so that I can remember this input should I need to make another one of these advanced machines. And there we have an advanced machine frame, which should simply be able to be crafted with the rest of the items here. I think I can just straight up craft a stasis chamber now because I've got all the rest of this stuff. Yes. Okay. Stasis chamber. So if I put this down, it doesn't have any other sides to it. It seems to have just a front power show working area. I don't see a working area. To keep it still, you can place a stasis chamber directly underneath the summoning altar. Hmm. Okay. Well, that seems pretty basic, and I already have ones currently just running around down there. So I guess I can just assume that this will work for that. I suppose we could just test it on some random mobs. There's a chicken there. So if I put this here, power it, and then I convince the... Oh gosh. Okay, I got affected by it. That That's good to know. <laughs> I didn't realize it would affect me as well. Okay, it, it definitely works. So as you can see, the mother silverfish is still there, which is going to make things a bit more challenging. Um, I was considering just mining down underneath the altar, coming up underneath it and dropping down a stasis, stasis chamber and then trying to convince it to come back. Yeah, right now it's just bouncing around on these uh, <laughs> interdiction torches. Actually, it would probably just be easier if I ran over there and hopefully... In the meantime, though, let's kill these other things. And it says right below it, huh? So let's do that. Put this down here. And I could probably mine down a little bit further. Put the power source underneath, jump out of here. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting stasis, which is great. Uh, I can put this back. I don't know if I can even get this thing back in here or not. It it seems to just want to fling mobs at me very happily. Maybe I'll make a space for it to actually come in. Yeah, it seems to be at least working on these silverfish here. I'm going to need to get this one to get a bit closer. So maybe I move some of these out of the way. Give it a gap to come in. Uh, that one might still... Oh, no, it's it's here. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Why don't you come a little closer, my, my friend? And hopefully get stasis. Come on. Come here. I need you to get right in the middle. I don't... I can't tell if it's actually... Oh, give that back. Oh, that's where my weapons went. You guys actually took it. You have it. So one of you might have my sword still. Good to know. In the meantime, oh, you guys are just going to be a pain in my booty. So I'm going to need a way of actually killing these little mini mobs that uh, spawn outside of it. I think I've got some ideas on how to do that. <gasps> Wait a second. What do you have? What is that you've got? Hey, give it, give it back. <gasps> my sword. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that, that thing was gone for good. So I've got some of these damage plates from uh, Dark Utilities. I could try some of these and see if this works. Uh, let's set it here, teleport over, and try putting a bunch of these down. About the, oh gosh, apparently it got free. Well, that's great. Um, I did not anticipate that to happen. <laughs> so let's try and lure this thing back over to where it was. And maybe I can get it stuck on this again. Yeah, this is terrible. All right, I think it's stuck again. So if I just do a bunch of these damage plates. Yeah, that's too far for you guys, isn't it? I 
They, they don't even climb on the damage plates. It's ridiculous. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the best choice. Maybe it was. I don't know. Let me try putting one down here. They don't seem to be taking any kind of damage. Huh. So remember these? Yep, bell thorns. They don't cover a huge area, but they cover a big enough area. And I figure I could just plant some of these with a little bit of mana and perhaps use it to kill the other guys. I don't know. It's worth a try. So here's the problem. When I teleport away or teleport back, this guy just runs amok, uh, going a bit crazy, and somehow escapes this area. So I think I need to keep it loaded as well, or else I'll run into problems. But if I keep it loaded, that means that these guys are going to constantly keep spawning in the nearby area. So I think the problem is that this... Wait... Hey, would you, all of you, please stop it. Go away. Quit it. The, this thing here, oh gosh, I'm going to die if I don't get out of here. But uh, it, geez, it, it ended up that uh, it knocked out the power source that I had underneath. And it's just going to bounce right back on top of me, isn't it? Okay, well, now if I put down a bell thorn, let's see what happens right here. Does it hurt it? Ultimate Leech Silverfish. It does not seem to be taking any damage at all. Okay. Is this... It's hooked to that pool and everything. Okay, well, now I know. And that's definitely not going to work out. Let's make a few swords here and see about using maybe a Mob Masher. I don't know if this will work. Oh, apparently I need a lot more Iron Swords. All right, let's just keep making them. Uh, make a bunch more. I think I'm dropping them on the floor. That's fine. There. One mob masher. Plus, I think I've got some of those spikes uh, in the system now. I wonder if spikes of varying types nope, actually work to do damage. Can I place this on the side of something? Yes, I can. So now I wonder if it drops these things on spikes, if they actually take damage. Does not seem to be the case. Okay, yeah, they are being dropped directly on top of the spike and nothing is happening there. So what if this is actually directly underneath? Because this counts as player kills. And if I can clear them out... Put this down there, and then I need a lever, right? <laughs> that, that doesn't seem to be doing much. I'm assuming these things also have, uh, like, fire resistance and are immune to lava and all that. How's Mama doing? Mama's just fine. In fact, I'm, I'm the one being uh, paralyzed right now. Yeah, they're being dropped right on the mob masher, and nothing seems to be happening. Nothing seems to kill these little silverfish. Oh my gosh. Or is it that it doesn't drop those guys any lower than that one spot? I don't know now. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't seem to drop them any lower than that. Maybe that's the problem, is that uh, I actually need to have something a little bit higher. Hey, okay, that was it. It was the distance for that. Apparently this is working now. Oh, thank goodness. So I now have a way of at least killing the little ones. Every time that I get a hold of things, one of these ultimate ones drops out. So I think I'm going to need a whole bunch of these mob mashers layering the entire floor here. Okay, well, I'm going to have to teleport back one way or another. So let's set this to home. Teleport back. And I can make one of those mob mashers, then I can just EMC the thing so I don't have to recraft all those uh, iron swords uh, multiplicatively and put it in the energy condenser. So let's try something out. If I put down a block of redstone and this on top of it, oh, it works. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Hey, there we go. That hopefully should help a little bit. I mean somewhat centered on the this thing here it it's not exactly centered on there i should probably expand this a little bit further there and i could probably use stuff that um just kind of pushes entities around to do so but i don't know i've seen these guys 
flying around at all sorts of weird angles and everything. So I think I'll just leave that as is for the moment and go around and clean up the rest of these ones that are just kind of hanging around. Okay, they're all done. And for some reason, this guy here, not dropping anymore. I, I don't know why. It's It actually makes a silverfish sound too. Does it actually grind up that stuff? Nope. I guess it doesn't grind up items at all. Let's put the extras in the system. And for now, I'm pretty happy with the results. I realize that there's uh, plenty more that needs to be done, but I think this is a good stopping point for this because it took me a while to make the, uh, the proper materials and get this going. Next, I think we're going to have to get into the Drigmes, which means shutting off our slime production for a little bit just so that some, uh, some passive mobs can come in. And then we can use those in that next part of the quest. At least I think so. Yeah, it's saying the Drigme charm uses source to gather mob drops without killing them. Source can easily be made using a volcanic source link powered by coal from chickens or any other source. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. Plus, I might have to keep this area loaded, so I'm going to have to choose some chunks to not load in my home base. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. Don't be afraid to come by Twitch. Visit us. We stream there regularly. We've been playing some Vault Hunters and some other games as well. A little bit of Terra Firmacraft and whatnot out on the latest 118 version. If you would like to see some VODs from Twitch instead of watching them live, you can do so on our second YouTube channel, Mischief of Mice 2. Don't be afraid to visit there. You can probably click that right now on the screen. Till next time, folks. I'll see ya. Bye.